What up, world? Thank you for joining me on the road to Breezy Mania. It's time to grind. Rise and shine. Let's get it. Wow. Long time no see. I do apologize for not uploading any videos in the past, what? Eight months, something like that. I don't think I've uh, uploaded a video on YouTube since like the middle of August. Um, I've just been trying to get a lot of things situated, uh, but no excuses. I'm back now, hopefully. We'll see how long it lasts. And um, as far as the countdown goes, the countdown that I was doing, I'm sure the majority of you know that that countdown was to WrestleMania 33. That's the first WrestleMania that I actually got to attend live. Um, it was pretty amazing. Actually, here go some clips. What you waiting for? You only got one life. One life. And we gonna live it up. So give me the green light. Give it to me. Cause I'm ready to go. pictures and more videos from WrestleMania 33 than that, but I wasn't uh, able to upload them because they were in a different format because I was using two different cell phones at the event. So I do apologize for that. Like it was, it was insane. I'm not going to lie. It was amazing. Um, oh man. From the, uh, Hardy return and them winning the tag titles to uh, the Shane McMahon, uh, AJ Styles match was better than most people thought. Once he did that, when Shane McMahon did that shooting star press, I was, I couldn't believe it. Um, what else? Uh, um, of course, The Undertaker, Roman Reigns, that was pretty crazy. Um, I was literally the only person rooting for Roman Reigns where I was sitting. I wasn't. Um, as close as I thought I was going to be, but I was still fairly close. Um, I was like row, uh, I think I was row N or O. Sorry, row V, my bad. So from A to O, like row 25, something like that. Still on the floor. So fairly close, but yeah, it was crazy. Um, I literally lost my voice. Uh, chanting for Roman Reigns because I was exhausted. I mean, it was a seven-hour event. I had lost my 
voice, of course, by then. So, um, yeah, I just had to use everything I had in me to root for Roman Reigns. I'm not a huge Roman fan. Of course, you know, well, you may not know, but The Undertaker has always been in my top five. So, obviously, I like The Undertaker a lot more than Roman Reigns. But the reason I was rooting for him is because everyone around me, everyone, it felt like in that almost in the entire stadium was rooting for The Undertaker. So I just, I felt like Roman needed some type of support. He couldn't have everybody just dogging him like that. So yeah, it was cool. I kept telling everybody Undertaker was going to lose. Uh, everybody around me thought I was crazy. And then once Roman Reigns won the match, I literally stood on my chair and just looked at everyone around me and like recorded their reactions and yeah it was it was pretty crazy but uh good to be back i'm a little exhausted right now i just got done with an hour workout and doing my post workout run right now and um just uh ready for a lot this year uh i've got my uh, business going my uh, globalized pro marketing agency going so far it's going uh, it's going fairly well no complaints on this side and um, yeah I'm just focused this year is gonna be insane I feel it um, 2016 was amazing it was probably the best year of my life so I can only imagine how great 2017 is gonna be for me and I plan on taking you along for the ride. So get ready for some crazy, crazy stuff, crazy transformations, and just um, just steady, steady progression and just constantly moving forward to where I plan to get. So, but that's enough rambling for me. I'm gonna get back to running and I'm freaking hungry. I haven't eaten all day. Uh, I woke up a little later than I wanted to which means I started my workout later than expected. So didn't have time to get my um, usual morning breakfast, which consists of a ginormous plate of oatmeal. But yeah, I didn't get to get that in, so here we go. Okay, it's time to call one of my potential clients up and um, get a, an exact... exact time for our meeting tomorrow. Hey, uh, is this Lewis? Hello? Yes. Can yeah, hey, Louis. Um, this is Fabrice. Uh, what time were you wanting to uh, meet up tomorrow? About two p.m. Two p.m. Okay, cool, cool. All right. Um, uh, everything going good, man? Yeah, so far, man. Okay, so far. cool, cool. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to it tomorrow. Cool. See you tomorrow. Absolutely. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. And that is the end of this vlog. Um, I do apologize for not. Uh, recording enough content for this vlog um, as you know I've been gone eight months so I'm just uh, working out the kinks still and uh, just trying to get back into that vlog uh, atmosphere so just bear with me on that um, it is currently a little bit after midnight uh, 1230 to be exact and um, I'm just gonna finish putting this vlog together and uh, I'll probably be up another two hours, but I'm, I'm sure I'll be asleep by 2.30. So, um, uh, once again, thank you for staying subscribed to my channel. I really do appreciate it, uh, especially with the long hiatus that I was on. And um, uh, as for tomorrow, I definitely plan on taking you all with me um, to my meeting with the jewelry store owner. So uh, just be on the lookout for that. I'm really, really looking forward to that as well. I uh, I really just can't wait. I'm ready for another client. Um, actually, my first client. So uh, yeah, thank you for 
uh, everything. And um, always remember to uh, stay healthy, be positive, treat people well, and always strive for greatness. Because you're on this world for a bigger reason than you think. And don't let anybody, any doubters, haters, any anyone's negativity change your thoughts on who you really are. Embrace who you are. And do what's best. And you know what that answer is. This is Breezy signing off. Good night, world.